113 Questions About Evolution with John Perry. Evolutionary question number four. Could dinosaurs ever be cloned like in the movie Jurassic Park? Last week, I published a new animation on the Stated Clearly channel about the discovery of soft tissue inside dinosaur bones. Dr. Mary Schweitzer was the first to discover soft tissue. She found microscopic remnants of blood vessels inside of a T-Rex leg bone. And since her discovery, many other groups have found similar things in different dinosaur specimens. And one of the big questions that people have been asking, probably the number one question that I've been getting is, does this mean that we can finally clone a dinosaur? Can we make a real life Jurassic Park? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the answer sadly is no. And there are three main reasons for that. The first main reason is that we have not been able to pull any DNA sequences from these dinosaur bones. It does look like there are individual DNA nucleotides. For those that don't know, a chain of DNA is made up of a, a whole series of DNA nucleotides, and we can read those nucleotides to understand the genetic information of an organism. But the DNA inside these dinosaur fossils is completely deteriorated. It's broken up into individual pieces. Trying to actually read a dinosaur's DNA from the fragments that we found in these fossils would be like trying to read the works of Shakespeare from a bowl of alphabet soup. We cannot read it because it's too broken down. We're actually not even sure if the DNA that we're finding in these fossils even comes from the original dinosaur. Even if we're looking at a mummy, for example, that's, that died a couple thousand years ago, when we try to sequence a mummy's DNA, mostly what we get is bacterial DNA. Actually, less than 1% of the DNA that we find in mummies actually belongs to that mummy. Most of it is bacterial or fungal DNA. The oldest fossil that's been able to give us DNA sequences, actual DNA sequences, is a horse fossil that was dated back to 700,000 years old. So that's much, much more recent than any dinosaur fossil that we have. And even that, it was the DNA was broken up into fragments, and we had to sequence the DNA of multiple cells and then overlap those fragments to try and figure out what the entire sequence was. It was a lot of work, and we can't do that with dinosaurs because the fragments that are left are not long enough. Now, there are several laboratories that actually thought that they had found sequences of dinosaur DNA in their samples, but in all of the cases so far, it's been contamination. One of them was contamination from a turkey sandwich. It happens. The second big reason that we cannot clone a dinosaur is that we do not have access to dinosaur eggs. We do have lots of fossilized dinosaur eggs, but this isn't Game of Thrones. Those are not going to work. Most of you are probably aware of Dolly. She was the first sheep that was ever cloned. And the way that we cloned Dolly is that we took an egg cell, we pulled out the nucleus of that egg cell, and then we took an adult sheep cell, we pulled the nucleus out of that adult sheep cell and inserted it into the egg. That egg then acted as if it were fertilized by a sperm and began to grow. It was implanted into the uterus of a sheep and Dolly was born. This process requires not only the DNA from an adult animal, what we would be trying to get from these, these dinosaur soft tissues, but it also requires an egg cell. And where the heck are you going to get a dinosaur egg cell if the dinosaurs are all extinct? I actually can't remember if it was in the movie or if it was in the book. In Jurassic Park, they solved this problem by using ostrich eggs and emu eggs. That actually would not work. When we do cloning experiments uh, and we use an egg from one species and the nucleus from another species, the thing almost always dies. The only way that it won't die is if you're using an extremely closely related species. The reason for this is that there are certain proteins and enzymes, RNA chains in an egg cell that have to match the DNA of that egg cell as well. You need the right goop inside your egg in order to make a clone. The third reason that you cannot clone a dinosaur is that in order to clone an animal, you need not only the DNA sequence, but you need intact chromosomes. A chromosome is a stretch of DNA along with packaging proteins, and those proteins not only package the DNA inside the nucleus of the cell, they also help regulate gene expression. Those packaging proteins help decide what genes get used at what time, so if you don't have those proteins along with the DNA, you, can't, you cannot make a clone. Now, some of you have probably heard that we are trying to clone a mammoth. 
and we actually think that this might be possible, but we're not actually cloning it in the same way that we cloned Dolly the sheep. In order to clone a mammoth, what scientists are trying to do is they're trying to sequence the genomes of mammoth fossils, and mammoth fossils are young enough that we can sequence their genomes. Enough of their DNA is intact. We're looking at those at those genomes, and we're comparing that to uh, Indian elephants. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to genetically engineer Indian elephants to express traits that are similar to those found in mammoth DNA. That means that they're going to have more fat underneath their skin, they're going to have shaggy fur, they're going to have longer tusks and smaller ears, and those traits will allow them to live in colder climates. Now, as fascinating as I think it would be to meet a woolly mammoth in real life, or a reverse engineered woolly mammoth in real life, um, <laughs> I care about the well-being of elephants. And in order to make these, we're going to have to impregnate a whole bunch of Indian elephants with genetically modified fetuses. Pregnancy lasts almost two years. An elephant, it's 18 months, 18 to 20 months for an Indian elephant. That's a long time to be carrying a baby that's probably going to be deformed. These are highly emotional animals. They're sentient creatures like you and I. I don't feel like it's, it's worth the suffering that it has the potential to cause, but... People are trying it. People want to do it. I will be very curious to see the outcome of those projects. There's also another project uh, by Jack Horner, who is trying to reverse engineer a chicken to make it look like a dinosaur. He wants to make a chicken with a long tail, with a toothed snout, and with scales instead of feathers. So anyway, to sum things up, can we ever clone a dinosaur like they did in Jurassic Park? Sadly, the answer is no, at least not with today's technology. Next question.